猫金鱼，猫烧鸭，鸭睡稳刚刚好。泼泼水来搓泡泡，今天真是美妙。大声唱歌扭扭腰，我爱洗洗澡。Hasn't this bath song been stuck in everyone's head lately? On a certain short video platform, I've been bombarded with countless dance covers of the Chinese bath song, and I couldn't resist creating one myself. Coincidentally, a fan asked me about the details of converting dance videos into drawings, so I decided to use the bath song as an example to demonstrate the process. I hope that after watching this, everyone can apply the same techniques effortlessly to create their own videos. The first step in making the video is to download a suitable source video. Many bath song videos feature blurred images of animals dancing. While we could use something like OpenPose Animal Pose Control Net to handle this, the training data for animals is not as extensive as for humans, resulting in inferior results. So, let's find a video with real people dancing the bath song instead. As for how to download the video, I'll leave that up to you to figure out. I've already downloaded a video. Now, let's open Comfy UI and get started. First, we need to process the video and extract the dancing movements frame by frame for redraw. Let's search for and load the load video node. Upload the video to this node and specify the number of frames to load. Let's test with 8 frames for now. And if everything runs smoothly, I'll change it to 0 to load all frames later. Add the DW Pose preprocessor and connect the image interfaces of these two nodes. Set it to 1024. Disable the face option because we only want the body poses. Add a preview image node. Now, let's run it and see how well the pose extraction works. Soon, we have 8 pose images. No issues there. Since the original video I downloaded is in landscape format, the extracted pose images are also in landscape format. However, I want to create a vertical video in the end, so I need to change their dimensions accordingly. I'll add another node here to crop them. Search for the image crop node, which I often use for cropping images, but feel free to use any similar custom nodes, or even Photoshop. Connect it to the DW pose node, and set the dimensions to 544 by 960. The position to center. Then, connect it to the preview image. Let's run it. The image processing is lightning fast. If only the sampler could be as quick. Let's check the cropping results. The pose images are now in vertical format, but the characters are a bit off-center. Let's adjust them to the center by changing the x underscore offset parameter to minus 100. Now, run it again. I'm satisfied with this image. The characters are now positioned in the middle. Now, let's change the preview image node to an image save node so that we can save all these pose images for later use. Specify the output folder name as bath and the image name as bath2. Leave the other parameters unchanged. Change the value in the load video node to 0 so that it extracts all frame poses. Run it. This will take some time, so I'll skip to the results. Here, you can see all the pose results. If you don't want them to display here, you can set show underscore previews to false. Now, I'll open the folder where the saved files are located. You can see that all the pose images are there. Next, let's start using them to create the video. Search and add a load images node. Select the folder with the pose images and set the image count to 8 for now as it's my habit to use fewer images for testing to save time. Add a control net node. Connect the image interfaces of these two nodes. And add a control net model node. Selecting the open pose model. 
Next, let's add the animate diff LCM workflow mentioned in the previous video. Search and add a sampler custom node. Connect the positive and negative prompt interfaces to the control net node. Add a sampler LCM cyclet node. Set Euler steps to 2. Then add an LCM scheduler. Set steps to 10. Next, add an empty latent image node. Convert batch size to input. And connect it to the INT of the load images node to match the number of pose images loaded. Set the image size to 544 by 960. Add a use evolved sampling node. Set it to LCM. And connect the model to a load LoRa node. Choose the LCM LoRa. Add an animate diff model and context node. And also add a checkpoint node. Select your preferred checkpoint. For the motion underscore model, connect a node and select the model. For clip, connect two prompt nodes. Since there are many nodes, let's rearrange them. Connect the prompt nodes to the control net node. Now, let's refine the output nodes. Add a VAE decode and video combine node. Set the video format to MP4. Connect a load VAE node and select the VAE model you need. Set add noise to false and CFG to 1.8. With that, all the necessary nodes for the workflow have been added. Let's double check if there are any nodes that need to be connected. There's one that's not connected. Let's fix the context node. Now, let's fill in the content of the positive and negative prompts. After checking the workflow one last time to ensure everything is correct, click Run and see the results. I'll speed up the process. The results are in, and the lady has successfully danced the first eight frames of the bath song. Of course, there's still plenty of room for optimization. For example, we can adjust the character's appearance and background using the prompts or apply IP adapter to fix the style. Since you're familiar with filling in the prompts, I'll demonstrate IP adapter. Add an IP adapter node. Followed by a model node. Choose the corresponding 1.5 model. Add clip vision and load image nodes. Upload the reference image whose style you want to apply. Now, let's integrate this IP adapter workflow into the previous one. Modify the parameters. I usually set the weight to 0 0.8 and noise to 0 0.01. Now, let's change the number of images to 80 to run a slightly longer video. Click Run. This will take longer, so I'll jump straight to the final result. Clearly, the character's appearance and the background are consistent throughout the video. However, the face details could be improved. I plan to use Reactor to swap faces. 
not only to make the dancing lady look better, but also to ensure consistency between the faces throughout the video, reducing flickering. Add a reactor node and upload the facial image for replacement. Then, connect the image here to the input underscore image of the reactor node. Add a video combine node. Set the format to MP4 and the frame rate to 24 to make the characters dance faster. Click Run. And let's jump straight to the results. You can see that the character's face has been replaced with the one we specified. And when comparing these two nodes, it's evident that the face is much better and stable. Of course, there are many ways to continue optimizing this video, but I won't demonstrate them here. After all, we've used LCM, and you can explore further on your own. Now, let me tell you how to make animals dance to this bath song. I'll disable the IP adapter and reactor workflows for now, they're not needed here. To create an animal character, the simplest method is to modify the prompts. Let's see if we can achieve the desired results. Change the human part of the positive prompt to anthropomorphic cat and add human male and female to the negative prompt. Set the image count to 8 for now. Let's run a few frames to test the effect. Leave the other settings unchanged for now. Click Run. It seems there's an issue with the prompt model connection, likely due to the disabled workflow earlier. No worries, let's reconnect it. And now click Run again. Let's jump to the results. Ah, it's a bit off. The face is replaced with a cat but the body below is still human. Adjusting the prompts further might improve the result, but I've decided to try another approach, using an animal LoRa model. Add a load LoRa node, and select the animal LoRa I downloaded earlier. Connect the nodes properly. and adjust the prompts to include Laura's trigger words. Now, click Run and see the results. Hmm, something's not quite right. In theory, using Laura should yield better results. Let's check. Ah, it seems the checkpoint and Laura aren't compatible. This Laura model recommends using Chillout Mix, but I used another checkpoint. As you know, Laura's training is based on the checkpoint. Let's quickly switch to the recommended one. Now, click Run and see how it goes. That's better. Leaving aside other issues, at least it's now a furry little kitty. Now we can increase the count and run a longer video. Let's set it to 90 and the frame rate to 30, the same as the source video frame rate. Click Run. This will take longer, so I'll jump straight to the results for you to see. Isn't this fluffy little kitty in the forest dancing to the bath song under the sunlight adorable? Although the video is only 3 seconds long, the overall quality is quite good. It's ready to be paired with music. If you want a longer video, simply follow the same workflow, but change the load image to load all frames. I won't go into detail here. Well, that's it for today's video. Did you learn something new? Go ahead and create your own bath song dance cover. If you encounter any issues during the actual operation, feel free to ask me in the comments or private messages. Knowledge should be circulated and shared. 
See you in the next video.